Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. I am sure by now you are over <laughs> this look. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we are making our life easier. That's I am all about that. And you moms know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, tonight is the evening routine. So let's not waste any time. Let's get on it. All right, nighttime routine. One of the very first things that I do is, and most of you have seen this on Snap, is I set up my very first drink in the morning, which is my lemon ginger detox. I get everything out. We've got your Celebrate Your Wins mug. What I do is I put my cayenne pepper in there, so that will be all set up. I put the ground turmeric in there. I don't set my lemon or my ginger out because that stays in the refrigerator, but I have my lemon squeezer, my little ginger grater. I even fill up my water and then I just take a paper towel and I set it over top. So this is all set up for the morning. When I come out here, it's the very first drink that I have. Before I even have my coffee, everything is ready to go. I just grab my lemon out and my ginger out and we're good to go. If I know I am going to have a protein shake in the morning, this is when I will set out my Nutribullet down here. I will set out one of the protein cups. You recall that I made these and prepped these in my Sunday routine video. You will recall in my Sunday routine video, I prepped my coffee mugs and I prepped my vitamins. Now this is when I set everything out. So I set my mug out. I have a little cup that I stick my little stevias that I have open. I set out my sea salt. I have a spoon that I set out. I go over and retrieve my vitamins from the cabinet that I store them in. I set those out. I also take my glutamine select, which you can also purchase from me. Because I do my workouts first thing in the morning, I always fill my little blender bottle with the glutamine, pour it in there. It is all prepped to go for morning. I set out any other supplements that I take. I have a couple supplements here, Asian ginseng and ashwagandha. You will recall those in my vitamin video. I set those out and then I set out a full bottle of water. We are good to go. This saves me time in the morning. Again, I know for some people they're right thinking is she nuts? Yeah, it works for me. Now I am very fortunate. I do not have to set up the coffee pot the night before. My husband has done this our whole marriage. I wouldn't even know how. And we have been married, it'll be 26 years this month. <laughs> so go figure. But what I do is because I drink a lot of tea, I always make sure that the Keurig is full. That's something I do every single night when I'm setting everything up. We have a container right here that is marked C for coffee that's where you fill the water line to go for the coffee and K for curing because of course there are two different uh, amounts for per cup. So what I will do is I will see where we're at, at on the Keurig and I will fill it up at night because then it's all ready to go for when I want tea in the morning. When I'm doing my evening routine, another thing that I do is I determine from my priority planning pages in the schedule that I had made out on Sunday what tomorrow is going to consist of. I take a look at my whole entire sheet and I make sure I am prepared for my day. If it is a filming day, I will make sure that all of my filming is set up. I don't want to do that in the morning. I will set up my lights, my camera, I will make sure my lens is clean. Everything that I need to do to be ready for filming gets done. If it is not a filming day, but I am going to be doing coaching sessions, then I will get all of my coaching session paperwork out and I will prep and read through each of my clients things so that I have my head wrapped around what our session is going to consist of. Another thing that I do in the evening is I look at, and again, I would have gotten this information from my priority planning pages that I made out on Sunday. I determine how I need to dress for the very next day and I plan ahead. I think this is so key. If it's a work from home day, I just have basic black sweats in a, in a t-shirt and maybe a little cardigan sweater that I will wear around the house. If it's a filming 
homecoming day, I want to make sure I have my outfit together. If it's a day that I'm out on assignment, I want to make sure that I have my outfit together. So that's what I do. I put my entire outfit together, all hung up. I take it down in the basement and iron it. I have a little hook that I will hook it on. I also have another outfit already prepped for another day this week for something that is a little bit more dressy. That's going to stay over here on deck. But another thing that I also do is I pull all of my accessories, all of my shoes, and I get everything laid out so that I'm not scrambling in the morning when I'm trying to get ready. One thing I have recognized is you are way more put together when you are prepping the night before and setting everything out the night, night before. This is the outfit that I had for the following day. So this one again is on deck, which I hang in a different location. I even set out the accessories and my handbag for that. I also do any undergarments. I have my Spanx here. So everything is ready to go. Still in my walk-in closet, I am grabbing a load of laundry that I can carry out to the laundry room so that I can start it in the morning. You will recall seeing that in my morning routine video. I have four bins, lights, darks, colors, and jeans basket is all loaded. I end up carrying this basket to the laundry room. I just leave it on the floor in there. When I go into the laundry room at 4 a.m. to get my stuff to go do my workout, a lot of times that is when I will start this load of laundry. You will recall in my vitamin and supplement video, I had talked about how I take magnesium citrate and melatonin at bedtime. I have a little section in my walk-in closet right here. I keep my magnesium citrate and my melatonin in here, and I just grab a couple of those. I take those as well. I also set my workout clothes, and I get everything ready the night before. I've got my workout clothes. I grab them out of my dresser. I set those out. You'll recall in the Sunday routine, I stocked my water bottles down there for the entire week, plus some. I set a water bottle out. I also will set out my iPad just in case I am going to use that. So this will be waiting for me first thing in the morning, and you know when I wake up, I will be chug -a -lug. That's the very first thing I do. Again, love my water at room temperature. I am very lucky to have that uh, be something that I am okay with. And what I've recognized is you drink more water if you are okay with room temperature water. Got my pajamas. I will be getting into those. I also have my bedtime tea. I will drink like a sleepy time tea. Sometimes I will drink a Senna tea if I uh, want to uh, get the digestive system moving overnight. <laughs> and I can link that for you. And then I'm going to do my skincare routine. And then we are all going to be ready for La La Land. And I generally try to be in bed by 7.30. I do have next to my bed lip balm and I also have uh, a good hand cream that really gets me through the winter. I will make sure that I link those products down below as well. But basically, this is what I do. This is the ending. I jump into bed. I'll get on my phone for a little bit or my computer. I'm not going to physically jump in bed and show you that part, but I will get into bed about 7.30, spend about a half hour doing whatever to wind down, and I try to be lights out by 8. That is always the goal. There you have it, everyone, the evening routine and the end of the series. If you have not watched the other two videos, make sure you do. They all go hand in hand. Also, all the other videos that I provided for you down below and on the blog post. I'm so happy you could join me. I hope you found this helpful. Please feel free to leave comments, suggestions, and requests for upcoming videos in the comment section below. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not, and please tell people about me. Let's build this community of women and men, whatever, all of us, kids, teens, young adults, all helping one another to move the needle in our lives. All right, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a good night.